strange Sunday here, as we will not be talking about Rampage tonight, because Saturday was the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. It opened with the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium. This feud is the best thing in WWE right now. Everyone's down to their bellies, and as the goons all start to fight from their Gunther and Sheamus just go forehead to forehead and slowly rise like monsters out of the deep. I haven't seen WWE in a very long time. And it was nice to come back to the less camera cuts, less shaking of the camera. Uh, a, an amazing white meat baby face, Sheamus. Very white uh, meat. <laughs> yeah, very. Almost translucent. He's pretty really. white. <laughs> this is my first time seeing Karrion Cross wrestle with hair. But the longer this match went and the more <laughs> doofier his hair got, the harder it was to take anything going on here seriously. This has nothing to do with wrestling, but if you guys ever watch any of these uh, educational videos from astronauts in space, because uh, I don't know if you know this about space, but there's no gravity there. And what? so, yeah, it's like this guy, he's, he's, he's doing a Q&A from fucking outer space. And so he's holding the mic. And then someone asks his question, and so literally he just lets go of the mic, and it just starts floating around. And I learned how astronauts use the uh, potty, which involves suction. Of course yeah. it does. Holy it's an important shit. thing. Changed my mind about going to space after watching this video. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, or do you want to go even more now? <laughs> no, definitely not. No, the suction is on uh, not that end. Oh. Yeah. Here's a dude in a pig mask. Here's a dude in a Hawaiian You mean shirt. Huskus. Ah, God damn that's the greatest. That's the greatest WWE name in history, Huskus, the pig. Thank you. <laughs> yes. For clarifying. Yeah. There's a dude in a bunny suit. Some of these I didn't even know. Guy in a Hawaiian shirt and a chicken head. It's a buzzard. <whistles> Follow the buzzards, bro. The crowd went crazy for this guy's return. The question is, now what? I guess we're going to find out here soon. But I hope it don't involve no fucking magic. Patrick here says, will Vince being gone benefit Bray Wyatt? Well, we'll have to see. But well, before he was fired, now he has a job. Well, well, I mean, sure, that benefits him that way, too. Yes. Vinny, Granny, Craig, and uh, special guest tonight, our buddy Sean is here today. And Sean, I see you've got your gavel here. Oh, that's going to be good. Who is calling me now? What is happening? Okay, so here's what we're doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Define Vinny-ism. We thought, who should be the best judge? And the answer, of course, is my wife. But she refused. So we got my buddy Sean. Here's what we're doing, Granny. You are going to... As little as possible, for as much money as possible, for as little time as possible, for as long as possible. The ideal lifestyle of waking up and going right back to sleep until you slowly fade from this reality into another where the cycle repeats again. That sounds good. <laughs> That sounds like Vinny right there. Smelling like cat food and sadness. I would describe uh, Vinny as the product of a love affair between Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. <laughs> what? <laughs> True. Do you know that on top of everything else, I just now started recording? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused on this whole thing. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well... The harder I have worked and sacrificed in my yes. life, the more I have failed. Yes! The more I sit back and let life come to me, the more often things seem to go my way. Yes, Vinny. This is that is the tenant of I, Vinnyism that's right, Vinnyism there. right there. Did I just win my own contest? I think yes. you actually did, for fuck, for heck's sake. That Saturday show was the worst I ever saw. Is oh. that what we're going to get from Triple H from now on? Wow. It was brutal. Well, it was brutal. It was extreme rules. I don't even call that wrestling. I'm rebelling. Oh, man. Renee is a great hire. She's not going to be there every week. She's going to be there here and there, and she's going to interview people, and she did a great job on this show. She's she's very real. I guess it's a scoop now. Apparently, at the beginning of this match, the Luchasaurus legitimately hurt his shoulder. That sucks. In a match where he was supposed to sell his shoulder. How about that? The scissoring has been taken away from the acclaimed. They'll have to win the scissoring back. Yeah, I don't know much about trademark law, but it seems hard to believe that you could get something over, market it, T-shirts, and then someone else just trademarks and you can't do anything about it. Seems like you could get a lawyer. Uh, there's a clear precedent here that they were doing this before yes, Sterling yes, got his patent. there certainly is. Out comes the hangman in quite the outfit. Fringed, starred jeans. Jeans had fringe down the size. Well, now he's a lunatic fringe. And this, that, you'd have to be a lunatic to wear, to wear this, actually. Moxley retains. Moxley leaves. 
Fucking Hangman standing there in that middle of the ring at the end of the show. A loser. He didn't win the title. Just another thing he's lost over the last year, just like he said in his promo. And all of a sudden, the fucking Young Bucks music hits, and they come out, and they have a three-way hug. That would be so fucking great. And I don't know if they can get it done, but that's all I could think watching this promo. That's how this needs to end. Do you hear me? You hear me, Tony? That's how this needs to end. But Nyla cuts her off and says, Anna J-A-S, I'm going to whip your A-S-S. I love the uh, the Danhausen gimmick of cursing yeah. because he he curses you. But you don't have to believe it's real. Right. It's not like the Hocus Pocus in WWE. It's like, he goes like this. Well, did it work or not? We don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Man, they got 85,000 titles. Yet Orange Cassidy wins the All-Atlantic title, and this fucking place went nuts. Uh, Javier Bernal did not put up much of a fight. His body was much smaller by the end. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? It's big body Javi and Braun Breaker. I, I thought... He got Braun broken. Axiom versus Nathan Frazier, third of their best of three series. And the best. Yes, actually was. This was a great match. I will always laugh out loud when the English do an American accent to make fun of Americans. And when Kit Wilson points forward and says, Go sports! I died. She's my wrestler of the year. <laughs> Keanu James is in her office. The land Chase U is on is very valuable. And so her plan is to buy Chase U out from under Andre Chase. This is a completely preposterous character and a completely preposterous storyline. And I can't fucking wait <laughs> to see where this goes. Toxic Attraction do the whole entrance. And then Vic made a comment that I cannot believe still was actually allowed to air on the USA Network. When he says he's glad Booker T is there because Wade Barrett would have been so hot and bothered he would have turned the table over if he stood up. <laughs> he made a joke about Wade Barrett's throbbing erection. <laughs> he did. He's in the fucking hospital. He's being wheeled around in a wheelchair with a neck brace on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if this all ends up being a swerve and he's in cahoots with uh, Damon Kemp, which is kind of where I think they're going. I assume. It's like, you fucking laid in a goddamn legit shoot hospital for three fucking weeks with a fake fucking neck brace on. God only knows how much you paid. <laughs> you better have good insurance, brother. And Grayson Waller does the Harlem sidekick. The jumping sidekick. Mm -hmm. The exact say it literally exactly like Booker over ever always did, which is you basically do a one legged leapfrog and the guy runs into your leg. Pretty is that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. And Grayson Waller hits this move and fucking deadpan. Booker just goes, What in the hell was that? <laughs> That was a pretty good show. Yeah, I like the show. You know, some things here and there that are a little weird and everything like what that. What a perfect show. Overall, I enjoy watching the show. <laughs>